Hi everybody, the use of matches has decreased in the world, but its production continues. Many of us have used matches. Do you know how the matches we use are produced? Maybe you will see the match production process for the first time. There is a production process that requires real effort. In this video, we're not just talking about matchsticks. We would also like to show you the incredible production stages of the tennis ball. You will love these production processes and factory machines. Please subscribe to our channel and like the video. Making matches in matchboxes. Since matches are obtained from tree logs, the first process is peeling and chopping. The match tip consists of sulfur and potassium chloride as an oxidizer. Potassium chloride is the substance that gives oxygen to the combustion of sulfur. The splints run over perforated plates to shake off any residue or waste. Then they go through a machine which automatically discards broken or undersized splints. The splints now reach the match dipping line, where the perforated steel match bar runs down an endless chain. The automatic feeder inserts over 2 million splints per hour into the sockets of the match bar. Once the heads are dry the finished matches are ready for packaging. Nowadays, matchboxes are available in many shapes but usually a matchbox is square and contains 40 sticks. The matchbox contains a striped area on its right and left surfaces, which is required to ignite a match. To ignite a match, the match is rubbed against this area on the matchbox. The heating and combustion reaction that occurs through friction causes the tip of the matchstick to catch fire. The filling machine first directs the outer and inner matchbox liners onto parallel conveyors. On a high-speed line the machine can process at least 500 boxes per minute. Tennis ball producitin. First, this recoil reducing rubber based core compound is crushed in an open mill for five minutes. Slugs are cut from the rubber based core compound, which is then compression molded for 90 seconds into a thin shell.
Once the slugs are compressed, a sheet is made. This is removed with an air gun, rolled up, left to cool and cut into semicircular shells. The shell halves are combined to make ball cores and are buffed. It is placed in a sandpaper lined cylinder to create grooves which aid adhesion. An automatic cutting machine removes panels out of a sheet of felt. They are then mechanically stuck to the core. <laughs>